<laughs> when you were in WWE <laughs> developmental, were there other second or third generation stars there at the same time as you? So Charlotte Flair um, came in uh, right when we were transitioning into NXT mode. And so I kind of got to work with her for a little bit. She is another very strong, badass woman um, that I love to watch. And um, I mean, yeah, there was, I mean, other uh, second and third generation wrestlers. I mean, um, I got to work with, um, you know, uh, Ricky Steamboat's son and whatnot as well. And I mean, um, Wes Briscoe and, you know, just all kinds of generation kids. And um, yeah, the pressure though, we, we all related to the pressure, even if it wasn't outright like said to you, it was implied a lot. Yeah. Whose decision was it to not use your real last name? I mean, you worked under the name Raquel Diaz, which <laughs> which doesn't see. I feel like if you went into developmental now, you would be Shaw Guerrero. It would be different. Um, yeah. I remember what I was told, and I won't say who said it, but um, they were just like, well, you know, if you suck, we can't drag your family's name through the mud. And I'm like, <laughs> I understood that. I was just also like, you know, that's the whole, like, they never said anything that I needed to be as good as my dad, but there was all kinds of little things like that all the time. And that was kind of hard to ignore. And so, um, yeah, I, I, and that was pretty much like day one. I was like, okay, pressure's on. Don't suck. Yeah. So, wow, and wrestling is... is hard. Wrestling is hard, man. Like it's so much like psychology, I think. And not to mention natural ability that you hope to God you have. Sure. So when you left NXT, were you done with wrestling at that point? Uh, I think, God, um, yeah, I think I was pretty broken. Uh, I was just like so um, disappointed in myself and I felt like I failed my family. I felt like I embarrassed them and, uh, you know, I gave it my fucking all. I really did. I, um, I was with the company for three years and I was told it was going like, I was doing good and yeah. And then, um, when I asked for a, a break because my neck was so messed up, um, they just wanted to go a different, a different direction and wish mm. me the best in my future endeavors as yes. we've all heard. And right. <laughs> so at that point were you like, all right, wrestling's in the rear view mirror. I'll do something mm. else now. I did actually, like, I think I was in such like, I, I don't even know, like halfway shock. And I was just like, I think I just felt so not good enough to perform in any capacity. I went right into veterinary nursing school, like that week I like signed up and like freaking, um, got to work on all my prerequisites that week. And, um, like three months later, I was in a veterinary nursing program. Hey, it's Chris, and thank you so much for checking out this video on my brand new YouTube channel, CVV Clips. As the name suggests, it's a place where I'm gonna post clips from some of my favorite interviews. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit subscribe and also check out these videos right here. YouTube thinks you might like them.